Tanchi. Hello everyone, it is Métis Gamer, and I found this game on Itch.io, and it sounded kind of cool, so it's just the demo, uh, but I thought I would give it a go and give you guys an honest review of it as well. So, let's see how this goes. Frog. Oh jeez, they showed up, finally. <laughs> Hello, valued customer. My name is Ribble. I am an intern here at Frog Inc. At Frog Inc., we work with a hop in our step. Let's get started right away, since you've wasted enough time already. Oh, I need you to sign a quick contract before we begin. Just go ahead and type your name. Don't worry too much about the fine print. This is just procedure. Press enter when you're finished. Well, considering you can't read that anyway, I guess I have to. Did I sign it? Glad that's done. What a weird name. Um, okay. You are on your way to dream adventure in the world of Sword. We need to get through some things. First order of business is setting the difficulty. Frog Inc. currently provides two levels of difficulty. Our current options are mild and hot. Go ahead and pick one. Mild is easy to handle, hot is more challenging. I don't know. Let's go hot. <laughs> Probably gonna scoop majorly. They picked the harder mode. What a tryhard. It seems this system is offline. Oh right. All of the funding was blown on the New Year's Eve party. We are happy to provide a comfortable game mode for you. Let's take a look at some settings. You can configure your controls as well. Press escape when you're finished. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. This is taking forever. We're almost finished now. Everyone at Frogging wants to thank you for choosing us to explore the world of Soren with. You'll get an experience an exciting adventure through one of our pre-assigned heroes. Let's briefly introduce you to yours. This is Conrad. Friendly, outgoing, and loyal. Classical hero material. And a total snooze. Conrad is trying to enjoy his final day in Bitwix, his hometown. Although the journey ahead is exciting, say go saying goodbye isn't easy for him. You will be making decisions for him that have a real impact on his world, so choose wisely. Check in every nook and cranny, every, every even tiny things make a big splash. Don't let all the choices bug you, there's really no right or wrong way. You'll soon be paired with Conrad as your adventure begins. Now, to finish up, one question. If you were in a band, what instrument would you play? Oh jeez. Drums. Drums? What a spaz. What? That was a relevant question, trust me. What was a relevant question? Well, it looks like you are ready to leap into the game. Oh, there's one final note here. Weird, this one's not my handwriting. Oh well. This is a demo version. The subjects has changed, hopefully for the better. What did that even mean? Uh, there seems to be one last thing. I feel like I might be forgetting to give you something. Nah, see ya! <laughs> Alright. So I guess that was just all the setup to get ready for the game. In-house studios. Justin Hilton. Alright, so very old school graphics. Kinda like it. Kinda cool. Alright. Enemy and Face Art by Anthony Luna. Well, Anthony Luna, I like your art styles. It's very re reminiscent of Earthbound, Mother, whatever you want to call them. Very cool. I like the soundtrack too, it's kind of good. So am I the guy with the purple hat? Because I said I wanted to play drums. Honestly, if I ever got if I ever get the chance, I wanna I wanna learn how to play the drums. I've always had, just never had the resources or whatever to do it, so. Hey, you remember the time I fell in that old well? Yeah, I remember having to fish you out. You Conrad. Yeah, you. If I recall correctly, it was George and Lenny who pulled me out. I think Lane even helped. Gus. Well, who do you recall ran and got them? 
Conrad. Well, when you put it that way, I guess you did do something. Normal. All set, boys? Your meal was on the house tonight. Think of it as a parting gift for you, Conrad. Conrad. Well, thanks, Norma. Norma, Elaine told me you were headed straight for the Gundam. I heard the smog there was terrible for your health. You better be careful. Conrad. Yeah, well, if you say so, I won't want you to worry. Norma. Oh, Gus. Good night. Good show tonight. Well, let me know if you need anything. Conrad. Sure thing. So you haven't put any thought into it then? Really? I told you I didn't want to talk about it anymore. Said Gus. Conrad, I don't know why you won't come with me. Gus, how many times do I have to say no? Conrad, come on, don't you want to see Gundon? Gus, I still don't know why you even want to leave Betwicks. Conrad, I'll never know what else is out there if I stay here. Gus, I just don't... I just don't want to talk about it. Alright? Just knock it off. Well, eventually... Oh, is that George Salami? <laughs> <laughs> hey Gus, quit lounging around. We gotta pack up the equipment in the back. If you want Hugh to pay you for the show, then it's gotta be spotless back there. Hugh never pays us though. But okay, I'm coming I guess. Hey Gus, wait. There's something else we need to talk about before I leave. Meet me at Sarty Hill tonight, alright? Alright, I'll see you there after I'm finished, I guess. Oh, so when he asked me what instrument I want, or what, whatever instrument that I would do in a band, is that indicating it's Gus, Conrad, I mean, it's getting late. I should meet Gus at Century Hill, but maybe I should enjoy my last night a bit more. The game has been so close. Um, so what I was going to say is I wonder if uh, the choice, if the choice that I make, it's late, come back tomorrow. Maybe I shouldn't be bothering people at this hour. Um, sorry, what I was going to say is I wonder if the choice that I make is which character joins in the journey. Because I picked drums, um, I got Gus. So maybe that's what it is? I don't know. Uh, it's a stone relic. You're unsure what the ancient symbols represent. Town Square. Alright. Is it me? Delhi or something down here? What is this guy doing? Lenny, oh no, what should I do? I really want to sleep, but George has the keys. I shouldn't bother. Oh, Conrad, didn't see you there. I see you locked. You're at locked out. Do you want me to go get George for you? Uh, gee, Conrad, that would sure would be nice. Okay. Who's George? George Salami and Music Emporium. Two to four Saturday closed, maybe for an hour or something. <laughs> an old wishing. All right. Uh, all right. So there's. A weird looking bird thing and I've got message to go to meet Gus. I have to meet Gus at Sardi Hill and I have to find George. George was at the diner the last I saw. Him. Oh Conrad it's a nice night isn't it? I guess so. Tomorrow before you leave come and say goodbye okay? It's a bench. Seems content. <laughs> George what? Lenny's locked out. Maybe you should go help him. That idiot, always forgetting his keys. Things I do. Where'd he run off to? <laughs> he went to help out. This is closed. Anything over the far end here? No. Okay. Well, there might be, but not right. Not, not at this point of the journey. There, it's not. All right. So I guess I can't get in. Okay, that's fine. I just so obviously the guy that was locked out got in. Uh, what's this? It says explore every nook and cranny at the beginning, so I'm just curious as to what does what matter for this. Oh, it's you, Conrad. Elaine is sleeping right now. Did you need something? I was just stopping by. You're a bit nervous to leave, I understand. Gus hasn't changed his mind about staying, has he? I think he said I'm staying. This time will come one day. It's late. You should be going. I'll make sure to see you off tomorrow. Run along now. Okay. So there's nothing down there. And hey look, a rock. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. I don't know what's important and what's not, because I said search every nook and cranny. 
Crystal ball sits on the table to fortune teller nonsense, right? Yes. I believe in fortune tellers. Or card readers or palmistry or any of that kind of monkey. Jim! Oh, Conrad, you came in. Sorry. This headache dulls my senses. Yeah, sure, I'm sure it's about this. Oh, sorry to bother you. Feel better. I'll see myself out. Fraud! Alright. Um, anything with this bench? Nope, just a bench. Groovy. Anything with this rock? Nope, just a rock. Can you believe it? A tree. <laughs> Did they literally program? Wow. Mad respect. They were... Nice looking tree. Okay. So, I, just curiosity. Can I do it on the fence? How did we just... So I can literally... Talk to... Talk to everything. Observe everything. This is the, the word I should be using. Okay. Is there anything in the pond? You feel calm. Nope. Alright. Put this open. Gus isn't home. I should be at the hill. The stump. Hey there. Bebo Farm. Nope, can't go to Bebo Farm. That's Gus's house. Nothing in the pond. Love this game. I mean, it's it's definitely not like new graphics by any means. I mean, these are the kind of graphics I grew up with as a kid. So, yes, sir. Hey, Conrad. Listen, Gus. Dude, if you're about to give me some sappy speech about why I should come with you, I don't want to hear it. Just let me speak, okay? This isn't about the farm. Do you remember how we got here? What? You're being weird, man. Knock it off. No, seriously. Tell me anything about your life before Betwix. A small detail. Someone you knew. Anything. Well, when I was young, I... I... I figured as much. I know you feel the same way as me. I can't remember anything. I can't remember my past. Maybe I don't have one at all. You aren't making any sense. Can't you see? Nobody in Bexwick seems to have a past. Nothing changes. There's no way, but... We have to leave Beckwick's. I haven't found any answers here. You have to believe me. I wouldn't be telling you if I wasn't sure of this. Gus, will you come with me? There are answers out there. I know it. I'll come. So I guess that is... How are you? What's going on? Oh. Oh, this is why it's called Glitch. Okay. Conrad, Gus, are you... Uh... Are you okay? Whoa. Conrad, what's happening? I remember my um, NES doing that <laughs> in the day. Stupid NES. Man, there were so many problems with that system. Glitch to stop working. Press enter to continue. Yeah, I remember having a lot of issues with the NES games and cartridges, I'm sure. Anyone old enough to remember that system was remember the trouble getting a game to work on that system. Especially as the system got older. What's going on? What happened? How did I end up here? Hello? Anybody? Boo! <laughs> I don't even know you! Do you do you go around and scream people all the time? Well, it looks like I'm stuck with you. I'm Gus. Who are you? Um... I am... I'm Métis Gamer. Hi! Nice to meet you. Guess? This is also weird. I'm not sure where I am or even how I got here. You think you could help me out? Now nah, you're on your own. Well, fine. I didn't really need your help anyway. I can find my own way. Uh... Oh, crap! There's repercussions for everything you do. <laughs> I guess I have to... The screen's changing colors. He's changing colors. Oh, jeez. What's going on? Maybe I did need help. See what you did? You left him alone. Gus continues to walk aimlessly through nothingness. Oh man! Did I just get a game over already? Yep. 
Oh, that's good. I like it. Can I continue? Okay, cool. Um, what I was going to say is not too many games. I, I really like that. Uh, there's not too many games that I can think of that, you know, you can pick the sassy answer. Uh, no, whatever. And how did I end up here? Okay, so this is... Let's go. Oh, I'm the player. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, you're a video game character. You're crazy! I'm out of here. Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> that went well. Anyway, what I was going to say was... Oh, is he going to allow me to help, or what? Nope. <laughs> Shoot. Is this really nothing? No way. Yep, I lost. <laughs> Jeez, way to drop a bomb on the guy. Lost in the void of his own mind, Gus loses the ability to carry on. Um, what I was going to say was, I find this really interesting because every single choice I seem to be making of the couple that I have made so far, I'm going to try to get through this so I don't show you every possible way of getting a game on. Because, I mean, there's got to be something to enjoy when you play it. So, I'm hopefully going to pick the right answers here. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go boo, and then yes, or boo, then my name. Okay. Hello. Okay. Boo. Hello. Ha ha ha. Okay. So, scare him. I'm Meaty Gamer. Hello. Nice to meet you. I guess. This is also weird. I'm not sure where I am or even how I got here. You think you can help me? Sure, I'll help you. Thanks. We should find a way out of this place. You can lead the way. The game has been saved. Okay. Um, so what I was going to say is it's interesting to see that every mechanic, like every choice has a repercussion. Because I think of like games similar to let's say Zelda Ocarina of Time, you can say no, and it will just repeat the same question over and over again until you choose yes, so you don't really have a choice. In this, y your choices have a repercussion, which is really, really interesting. Uh, a door. I wonder where it leads. Right? What do you think we should do? Let's go in. I'm trusting you on this. I'm trusting my instincts on this. Oh, jeez. More doors. Uh, maybe one of these leads out of here. This is all familiar. It seems like I've seen it before, but my memory is fuzzy. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I've been a feeling, empty feeling, I, and I can't explain it. We shouldn't wait around here, though. Let's get started. Which one first? Um, I have no idea. I'll let you choose. Thanks. Um, hmm. Well, I... Okay. I... Being Kanaka, I want to go with the red door, but being that my colors for my channel are blue, I'm going to go with blue. Yeah, let's do that. Should have picked red. Oh, it's a library. Maybe there's a clue somewhere? Okay. A table covered in old books. Book here. Book six on the table. Read it. Yes. Let's see what the book says. Alright, I'm gonna read it. Insight. Logical, inquisitive, condescending, preoccupied. You never know what you can learn through a book. I feel smart already. Gus regained insight. Well, that's helpful. What's your insight gonna tell you? Okay, let's go to red. In we go. I thought the inside would have been so dark in here. Let's try to find a way out. Light the torch? Yes. Zeal. Brave, devoted, self-righteous, impulsive. The flames. I feel empowered. 
Gust gain zeal. Oh, so are these like all characteristics? So, if insight, bravery, or zeal, whatever, what would yellow be? Cautiousness? Courage? No, not courage. Courage was red, I think. It's a maze. Let's try to find a way through. Alright, uh, this way? No. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought it was like, I thought it was like one of those endless staircase things from like Mario 64, where you just keep going until you have a requisite amount of stars and stuff. I thought that was going to be what this dump this was. I think I see the exit. Drift. Clever, witty, irresponsible, and careless. Careless and small. We made it to the end. I feel lucky. Gus regained drift. I'm not sure what drift is, but cool. Alright, so I pretty much have to go through all the doors. I thought there was like... I thought there was going to be a choice, but... Apparently... Or maybe there is a choice. Maybe I only can go through four and I've already picked my four. I don't know what to say. Hmm, you want to get out of here? I can help you with that. For a price, though. Four bits. Uh, let me get my wallet. Conquest. That's very powerful for you to Convinced to help us. I feel resourceful. Gus regained conquest. Okay. Interesting. Green door. Should we go inside? Yeah. Watch your step. I'm really not too sh forced. Maybe we should look around. A flower? No. Small pond. Take the water and then put the water on the flower. Flower seems more alive. Harmony, compassionate, spiritual, naive, rustic. Seems like balance has been restored here. I feel at peace. Gus gained harmony. Please don't ask me what the symbols above the door. I wasn't paying attention. The next part says I have to remember which symbols I went through first. I'm going to be hooped. Because I don't remember. Come out. I'm sure we can find a way through. Oh, wish they're off. Good idea. Alright. Okay, cool. Finally, move the boulder out of the way. Fashion. Reliable, adamant, stubborn, short-sighted. That was tough, but we made it. I feel more resilient. Gus gained best. Right, so one final door. I wonder what that all meant. There's, this seems to be the last door. Who knows what's on the other side? <sighs> Are you nervous? A little bit. But if that feeling through before is gone, here goes nothing. Now turn him back now. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Conrad! Can you still hear me? Help me! I don't know what's happened to him. Please! Conrad! Conrad, please stop! Okay. So... You're right. We have to talk him out of this. Conrad, we're trying to help you. Stop it. Okay, I have no goodies. What's happened to him? Conrad, please come to your senses. I don't know if I can talk him out of this. Stop, you need it. You need to fight it, Con. Conrad, I won't fight you. Conrad seems weak. Okay. 
interest. What happened to Conrad? Conrad? Where are you? What happened? You can't be. No, no way. This isn't real. This can't be real. What's going on? Conrad! Oh, ow. Uh, it hurts. Funk. Did I lose? Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Malta. On behalf of Frog Inc., we are horribly sorry for this inconvenience. Our intention was to provide a fun, pleasant, and stress-free experience here in our world. Unfortunately, something unpredictable happened. Currently, we do not know what has caused this anom abnorm- uh, I can't speak right now. Anomaly. But you can be sure it won't happen again. At this time, we will ask that you step away th for a little while as we figure things out here. I'll send you back to the main menu now. Sit tight, and whatever you do, do not press continue. Do you hear that? Do not press continue. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm gonna press continue. I want to find out what's going on. Do not press continue. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Ahem. <laughs> Go on now. Still here? You seem adamant to continue playing. You've been assigned a guest, a hero not in our database. We have little to no information on how he even ended up in this world. Even us at Frog Inc. have yet to fully comprehend what has happened. We cannot predict what might occur next, and our assistant will be assistance will be limited. Listen, if you're going to go back in there, we highly encourage you to avoid getting into detail about your role with Gus. The realization that you are a player in control of the events of this world. The truth of all of it may be overwhelming to him in state. That kind of shock can be very a dangerous thing. Also, if you get stuck in, the, in a dead end, that might be it for Gus. It seems you have already awoken the essence inside him. Your, your choices will change which essence Gus aligns with. His essence will alter how the world and people see him, so choose carefully. I can be of some assistance in explaining the personality traits of each essence. Is there an essence you wish to know more about? Uh, no, I think I got it. I don't know. I think I'll, I'll just... I'll go with it. Great, keep in mind each choice may change your essence. Oh, he's coming too. I should have given have given you a mud. The mud or mobile user device would have helped you equip clothing and manage items for your hero, but they all seem to be missing through my office. You can press M to open up your menu and do things like save and just adjust settings or even talk to Gus. If you manage to find a mud, you'll see that icon in the menu as well. Gus is about to wake up. It's time for me to go. The remaining members of Frog Inc. will try to provide you any aid we can. The world, people, what a mess. Good luck. Okay. So, M is for... Map, or, uh, menu. Game is been saved. I like this game. It's very different. I mean, graphics are nothing special, obviously. Um, but... I haven't played a kind of game like this before. It's kind of cool. My room. Oh, wait. Conrad? Conrad? What? Oh, you're still here. Thanks for helping me back there. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Conrad, we have to go find him. Come on. Okay. Gus, you should be in bed. Mayor Lane, what are you doing here? I found you unconscious on the path and had Mr. Salami carry you in. Gus, I just came back to Sauter Hill, saw that thing. It's some kind of monster, or a rift, or maybe the Eye of God. Gus, you saw it. What happened up there? Well, I was waiting for Conrad when... Conrad, did you find him too? Find who? You were alone. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about, Gus. Of course you do. Conrad's lived here for years. Oh no, you must have taken quite the spill. No one named Conrad lived here. Whatever that thing was, it attacked him. Come on, Elaine, you have to remember Conrad. You poor thing. All the stress must have been too much for you. You need to rest up, but either way, the town must act. What about Con- No more from you. I will host a town meeting in our next course of action. Meet us there after you've gotten some rest. There we can discuss what has happened. Okay, so... The glitch or whatever that is... 
She sure doesn't remember him. You remember Conrad, right? I know he exists. Whatever that thing is, he must have done something to him. Will you help me? I just know we've met and things are confusing, but if you, I know someone else, I'll help you. Thank you. I know it's a lot to ask, but if there's even a chance he's out there. Conrad's house. Let's head there after the town meeting and look for clues. Oh. My hat. Much better. Okay. Hey, really, thanks for helping me out. Without you, I don't know how I'd stay sane. Ha ha ha. Let's get to the town meeting. I don't know how long this demo is, and I don't want to want to give it a fair shake, so... Did I miss something? Oh, Gus, they've been arguing for a while now. We need to remain calm. Everyone will have their voice heard. Perfect. Let's go again with suggestion, but this time, let's go one at a time. Alden, dear, will you begin for us? The nature of the beast is irrelevant. Trying to the thing... Attacked one of our own, so we must put an end to it. Okay. I sense the being is here to stay. Is it green? This is the way it will be. We must learn to live in harmony with it. Listen, we all know business here has been a real drag lately. With that crazy thing, we've got the perfect excuse to bring visitors into Bedwicks. People, let's turn this into a tourist trap and we can get all a little richer. You want to know what I think? It doesn't matter. It ain't bothering us no more, and we don't need to, to change nothing. Let's not jump to conclusions. He's a sweet person. A strange anomaly has appeared, and our course of action should be taken with caution. We must examine and study this thing before doing any drastic measures. Look, I really don't know one way or the other. But why don't we just let it be? It's not our job to take care of something like this, isn't it? I know we have different opinions on the matter, but... Oh, Gus! You were the one that was attacked by that thing. Well, I guess so. Please help us here. We've heard the arguments. What do you think we should be done? Oh, man. Hey, are you hearing this? It all sounds absolutely crazy. None of them remember Conrad, either. I have no idea what should be done. I don't even feel like I can answer this with what happened to Conrad. Um, hey, what do you think? So red is destroy it, blue is let's coexist, hmm. well it got rid of Conrad, uh, okay if I was in the situation, and this was, I guess I kind of am aren't I? I don't know. I'm torn between destroying it and coexisting. I'm not really leaning toward the tour site. Ignoring it. It's not really a solution. Learn all we can about it. That's a good one, too. Who cares? No, I don't really like that option, either. Okay, so definitely the two that I'm not going to go for is, if it's not in our way, let's ignore it. I'm not going to do that one. And the who cares, someone else will figure it out, I'm not going to go with that one. Learn all we can about it would be a good one too. Meaning you can learn more about it, and then eventually destroy it. Because then you would find its weak points. Or, you can learn more about it, and... I think there's not enough information. We don't know what it is. Um... Okay, I'm going to go with learn more about it. Maybe if we can find more about the thing, more about it, then we can find some answers about what happened to Connor. I think Harrison's right. We should try and learn more about this thing before we do anything. See? We must take caution and study this. Well, we'll begin to formulate a plan, but first there is something we must do. As the mayor, it is my duty to inform other town leaders about this anomaly. I need someone to travel to Gundon and tell their president what has happened to you. Is there anyone up for the task? I ain't leaving the shop. I'd be much better used doing the research in her bricks quick. It's not my destiny. This is going to sound crazy, but I want to go. Before Conrad disappeared, he told me that he was leaving to search for answers. Everything he said about Betwicks. 
I need to know the truth. There must be something out there that can help explain all this. Maybe we can even find out what happened to Conrad. Leaving Betwicks. Man, is this the right thing to do? Uh, of course. Right, we can do this together. I'll do it. Me, me, me. Alright, I'll go to Gundon. Gus, after what happened to you, are you sure? I'm sure. Besides, who else would go? You're certain about this? Well, no one else is going. Kinda have to. Positive. Well, it's settled. Gather your things and say goodbyes, and you should leave as soon as possible. When you're ready, I'll meet you in the town square. The town meeting is now adjourned. Okay, so she wants me to meet her in the town square, and I have to go to Gus's house. Gus's house is in the top left corner, if I remember. Or er, not Gus's house. Conrad's house. Sorry. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. Nobody in town seems to remember Conrad at all, so much has changed. We should stop at my house before we leave. There's some things I want to. What? What? Huh? What was that? Guess it was nothing. Let's go gather more information we can as the journey ahead. Alright. Before we leave, let's stop at my house and pick up some things. It's in the green, it's in the green house. You can't miss it. Remember your house. Okay. Very good. Alright, so... Okay, so I can walk through the middle of the town. I just can't talk to her. Or the mayor, yeah. The door is locked. Maybe we can find another way in. Windows? Window? The windows didn't work. I was going to jump in the back. Uh, see if there are any doors around the back or anything. An old sink. There's a small bug crawling there. Hey there. Moldy toilet. There's no water in the bowl. Okay. So it looks like the houses have been abandoned for a while. It's odd. There's a photo on the desk. Conrad. The rest of the house is empty. Conrad. What happened to you? This picture. I remember that day that it was taken. It took Lenny at least seven tries to figure out how the camera works. I guess that's all we have to remember him by. I have to find out what happened to him. Have you ever lost someone you cared about? Like this? With no explanation? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have asked something like that. Let's get going. You obtained a photo. Okay. So I got the photo. There's really nothing left. We should get out of here. Okay. Alright, so... I guess I'll go to Gus's house and get the stuff. For being a demo, it's actually fairly long, which is cool. Um, hmm, what do I bring with me? Don't th ever think of leaving Bedwicks before. Hey, give me a few, okay? Feel free to make yourself at home while I pack up. Alright, I'm ready to go. Gus equips hometown BB gun. Gus changes his roles to tactician. Gus equips jacket. Hmm. Just yesterday, would have never thought I would be leaving Bedwicks. Now I'm headed out the door to leave. That thing above Century Hill. Everyone in Bedwicks freaking out. Connor. Someone just changed. Tell me something. Nobody remembers Conrad in it. Just so. Just so happens nobody can see you except me. I guess things were going so fast I never even questioned what you were doing here. So tell me, what are you doing here? Why are you helping me? I'm just here to help, okay? Hey, don't think I don't appreciate your help, because I do. It's just all confusing. Hopefully you understand that. Maybe one day you'll explain yourself. Anyways, let's get going. You said to avoid telling him, so I'm not going to tell him right away. I don't want to crush his poor mind. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, Lenny. Oh, I know you. I know you're leaving and all, but I wanted to make sure you were ready. I know it's scary, but you know how to fight, don't you? Care to teach me? Okay, I'll help you out. I have this jar here where I have been growing my friend Jimmy. He's a slime. I know what you're thinking. What a typical punching bag. Jimmy is very special to me, and he has 
He is the smartest slime I have ever met, so he's going to help us. That's a slime? It looks like a bug. Queek, this is Bebo who wants to help as well. Okay then, I'm gonna open the jar and let Jimmy out to play. Three, two, one. Ah! Whoa, jeez. It's a weird looking slime. Okay, guys. Bebo is the fastest, so he'll go first. Once your turn, you'll notice a little arrow above you. When it's your turn, you'll have three options. Okay, so this is like. Let's go over them. The first is fight. Will to choose a skill to possess, to attack an enemy, or help a friend. Skills may have a cooldown, a period of time where you cannot use that skill again. Next up, interact. You may be able to win a fight by night fighting at all. Try interacting with your foes, and you may find another way to win. Lastly, you can even use goodies. Goodies are things you'll pick up along the way for your journey. You can use some different goodies in order to help you hurt your enemies and tons of other things. How about we, you try this all out? Practice makes perfect. This seems, um, I haven't played it, but I've heard. Um, it seems very much like, um, Undertale, in that you can talk to enemies and not really kill them if you don't want to. It looks like you're damaged. Okay. You'll see your life points here, don't let your life points to zero, okay? Oh, and you might see some other points there. Different friends use a different resource that has some effects on their skills. Okay, it's time to fight. Don't let Jimmy drop your health points to zero. Got it? Let's talk to this one. See what he says. Glob, glob. <laughs> no goodies. Glob? Glob. There are no answers to be found in violence, and you have taught me this lesson, my new human friend. I've learned now that our conflicts, however dire, can be resolved in other ways. Violence only serves to divide and corrupt us all. Hey, Jimmy. Time to get back in the jar. Glob. Gus and friends won the battle. Oh, so you can. Cool. Great job. I'm glad I could help you, Gus. You, you did great, too. Weak. Okay, good luck on your journey. One last thing. If you're trying to get to Gundin, then there are two ways to go. You can try to go through K Covewood, but not many people travel through there. There are rumors about people getting lost in the forest and never returning. There's an easier way, which you should probably take. There's a long road that winds along the edge of Covewood that is much safer for people like us. Be safe and take that path, okay? Both paths will lead you to Douglas Village, where you can catch a train ride to Gundin. Oh, that should be it then. Uh, bye. Okay. Alright, you know what? Um, it's saved. This is actually longer than I expected, and I really like this game. I'm going to pick it up. Um, you know, you know what? This is, this is where I'm going to leave this off. If you guys really liked it, maybe I will play it again, but it is a demo. Uh, you guys can find it on itch.io. I put the link into the description. I'll put the link into the description below. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, um, download the demo yourself. Give it a try. See what you think. Um, and it has been. I looked. It was greenlit on Steam. Uh, so it seems that the developer is going to be going ahead and finishing the game, which is really cool. I really like it. Uh, I love that the choices that you make in the game seem to have an impact. Uh, so far, anyway. Um, can't speak to the rest of the game, but I love it. I love the art style, I love the music, and I absolutely love the fact that your choices matter. And I love the fact that you don't have to fight, you can talk your way out of battles, which is really interesting and a unique twist. I know Undertale, as I said, I'm pretty sure I haven't played the game, but I've heard uh, Undertale did the same thing. Um, so, but there's, so there's a few games that are doing it, but I really like that idea and that mechanic. So definitely recommend it, guys. Check it out. Um, give a shout out to the developers, let them know you tried it, played it, you know, um, everything else like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, leave some comments below, and I'll definitely rep reply to them. So, Mina Kuapamitten, we'll see you guys in the next video.